Yeah, well, you know, these are estimates, and that's what makes this so difficult. It's possible that the air may last longer than expected. It's possible it's already run out. Uh, the Coast Guard's been providing a number of updates throughout the course of the morning, indicating that there are a couple of, of remote-operated vehicles uh, underwater now uh, engaged in this search. But there is no sign of that Titan submersible yet. Over the forbidding waters far into the Atlantic Ocean, aircraft continue their search patterns looking for any signs of life. And sensitive sonar buoys linked to P-3 surveillance planes have heard more suspicious sounds coming from below the surface. Several P-3 flights are, have heard noises um, as yesterday, and we put uh, assets there. Uh, we, we relocated assets immediately. Assets including surface ships and remotely operated vehicles in a desperate attempt to find Titan, the submersible bound for the wreck of the Titanic that disappeared with five people on board and 96 hours of air set to run out today. Those overheard sounds could be signs of life, survivors following protocols to bang on the hull, or they could be something else. I can tell you from my experience with acoustics that there are sounds uh, by biologics that sound man-made to the untrained ear, but I can assure you that the people listening uh, to these tapes um, are trained. But even if the sounds are coming from Titan, distinguishing it from other objects could be extremely difficult. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Uh, it's just one of many lumps that would could be imaged down there on the sea floor. And at some point, this rescue mission could turn into a recovery effort. We're not there yet. Um, but if we continue to search, potentially we could be at that point. But again, we're not there yet. They are not there yet, and they don't want to make any assumptions, apparently, about how much air may, in fact, be on board uh, that vessel. There was another famous rescue from 1973, actually, where uh, the two crewmen in that instance, who were ultimately rescued, were able to conserve their breathing air by several hours um, by just being essentially motionless. So it's possible that the 96-hour air supply that's been spoken of so much may be a little bit longer than that. Back yeah. to you guys. Hard to remain calm, though, when you're in that kind of a situation. Thank sure. you, Doug.